Hello guys and welcome or welcome back. My name is Lady McCarthy and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today, in today's video, we're basically going, I'm basically going to review uh, Sketch Every Day. Uh, it's an art book that I've got. Book. It's one of the greatest, I would say, that I've read. Um, and this is the name of the artist right here. I don't want to mispronounce it. So here we have the contents of the book and the introduction. I would say that I really love the style of the illustration. Of the illustrations, they're so beautiful. They're truly very creative and character design-like. I really like all those little sort of sketchy details on here. It's really, really cute. And here she talks about her creative journey, timeline, and her experience sort of in the art world and it's really inspiring to get into character design one day so that's really inspiring and her whole process and her whole life and more of her art i really like those sketches and her backgrounds are amazing they're truly beautiful um okay so here's some more art i really love her dynamic poses and her facial expressions um she gives one of the best advice I've ever read. So she talks about the habit of sketching and how she sketches it and the sort of um, being not scared with a sketchbook. She really inspired me to be brave enough to uh, be courageous enough with my art and really, you know, get to know my art, get to love my art. She's also, you know, kind of inspired me to sketch everywhere and sketch daily, even though I cannot make digital art daily. Sketching daily is the best thing I could do and practice in anatomy and facial expression and characters. All this is just a huge inspiration. She talks so much in detail. There's so much information you can get from this book or from this chapter alone. Um, she talks about um, the fear of starting a new page and, you know, how she sketches at home and, uh, you know, on transport. She also talks about social media and uh, how she has grown on there, how to grow a following and how to grow basically an audience and it's really interesting to know her perception and her like um her sort of viewpoint and perspective on that matter she talks about how she became an artist and her sort of visual design and techniques that have changed and advice and sort of those advice actually are really really helpful i do i did take notes of them and i just put sticky tabs so that uh sorry so that i could have some you know something to flip back through when i'm in an art block or stuck you know she does talk about art styles and she talks about something which is a hugely, um, let's just say, underappreciated topic, which is basically about finding your style. And what part of this is quite small and I don't see a lot of artists talking about this, is their inspiration behind their style. Sort of the artists and the content and the games, everything that you view, it does add up to your style. I completely agree. It's, it's such a beautiful phrase and really detailed. Um, she's also... Um, teaches how character design is done and I never personally have thought I would want to character design. She shows character design, initial sketches, line art, she shows the portion she wants to make and you know the original and the one that she makes and it's more accurate and the silhouettes, the importance of having silhouettes to look at them and to focus on big shapes and the way she colors, it's, it's really interesting. I really like her style, it actually at the same time very painted a look. It's beautiful and you, you could see that by the three of those characters walk they have the position they have it gives them dynamic and personality that's what artists should strive for when creative original characters this is also a very interesting page it's the tool strap she talks about how having a lot of brushes and things and assets and you know sort of brushes that you have digitally or traditionally can overwhelm an artist and that's so true i felt that that there's so many brushes, what should I pick? You know, what brush is the best? How do I test out a brush properly? Because there's so many brushes. And I oftentimes buy brushes or download brushes that are, you know, that there's a lot of and I can't test them out fully or experience them to its greatest potential. Art fundamentals is a really, really helpful topic. She talks about the light and shade, how to shade and where the light comes from, the direction of the light, how the clothes would look, uh, the highlighted edges sort of shows all that that is very interesting and very detailed. It's a very beautiful book, I would say. Um, the lighting effects, and she shows some examples of the shadows and sort of light where, it coming, where it's coming from, and the light source. It's really interesting, especially when I, as an artist, have, haven't really thought before about a light source or how we should give, what mood we should give to that. Your artwork and illustration and how to give it depth, and this is just a great explanation. Uh, visual stability is quite a helpful 
quite a helpful chapter. Uh, she talks about the characters and how they'd be more stable and what makes them sort of attract the eye and what the person looks at. Perspective depth is something I still struggle with, but this did help me a bit. Um, it's with body and seeing things in perspective from the top and bottom and so on. It's really helpful, but I don't really draw a full body perspective, not yet at least, but it was really helpful to see and, you know, to gain that knowledge from her. It's, it's, it's interesting, very interesting, I would say. And then this is really helpful. I mean, this is just a sketch, right, to show the volume and basically the pose, but deconstructing a body and a pose and anatomy, basically everything, and shapes. You could, if you look closely, if you really inspect it, it's an oval, a circle, a circle, and sort of straight line, and then sort of this part and this part, and circle here, and lines. That sort of helps to build the overall pose. That's what I use for anatomy, because anatomy is super hard. And she talks about how she builds the hand. She talks about reflections, which is quite interesting, really interesting topic. The way it should actually look in the mirror and the way you have to have a viewpoint or something, you know, that uh, corrects it and gives it correct proportions. She talks about overlapping objects, background interest, and the composition. Then there's the composition spacing and she explains that more in depth. And then inking, I was personally struggling with inking my art. I mean, I'm sure probably most of you have struggled with inking your own art. And this is quite interesting because the way she does, she makes the lines kind of heavier and thicker on the outside and thinner on the inside. She explains how she positions her hand to have those sort of line strokes that are ideal and smooth. Choosing colors for all those of us, basically maybe most of us, I do struggle with color theory and choosing colors and color palettes, that's very overwhelming and it adds a pressure onto your art. She talks about the hues, the basically the complementary colors, how to have a main color. That is interesting. And she explains more about the colors, sort of what colors match together and uh, the relationship that the colors have with each other. Then um, she also talks about how to add the sort of glow effect and then coloring lines. She talks about how your art can tell stories and the positions and sort of give an insight. Then she explains about the lighting, the sort of situation, the way shadows at depth, because this could be seem scary and this could seem sort of funny and simple. You know, she really, really focuses on that. Character design is also quite interesting. This is the place where you get to learn and sketch and sort of grow your art skills. So here is making faces and avoiding symmetry, basically making them kind of unique and profile view and other views, sort of the way eyes should focus. And then she explains the construction of the eyes and the old eyes and how they add the age to the eyes, cartoonish eyes, stylized eyes, all that is quite interesting. Now, I do sometimes struggle with making a nose, personally. So this was quite interesting how she should separate it into shapes. And then the lips and the volume of the lips, I have never given that a thought, especially how she gives female lips, the volume of the depth and the male lips. They have quite a difference and she shows that in the features. Now, she talks about the standard head proportions and then how to differenti differentiate the characters and make them different and have those sort of proportions all over the place. She talks about the view, the, head, the way the head looks, constructing the head, the positions it has, the volume of it, the emotions and how to enhance those emotions and how to make complex emotions and how to make it super angry. And she talks about the lines of energy, which is basically whenever you're feeling certain emotion, how does that sort of dominant line goes? Because when it's sad, like devastated here, it goes down. And when it's furious, it goes just all over the place. She talks about the baby and their like slouch little shapes, like jelly bean shapes. This was how to draw hands. And this was very helpful as a person who can draw hands. She just shows real tricks. This has been the helpful, the most helpful tip I've ever gotten on drawing hands. She talks about the hand positioning, uh, pose feet. You don't have to ask me, they're very hard. How to alter direction, change the position. The confident body language and adding uh, features like goofiness, enthusiastic, you know, kind of awkward. Body language is important and the way the character positions herself and that can perceive her to have a personality trait of sorts. It could tell us a lot about the character, actually. Um, here we have connecting characters, so the characters that complement each other. Uh, Silhouettes are very important, and they give us an idea of how the character looks. The way she does hair is beautiful, but it doesn't really work for me. I kind of go for a more flat hair, I guess. 
they're voluminous, but I tend to bring the volume from the in inking of them or from the coloring of them. I can't make them look kind of humanized, if, if that makes sense, actually. I think it doesn't, but if you know, you know, yeah. She talks about the way guys' hair look and different hairstyles and basic approach to them, hairstyle ideas and how to make them. Uh, she talks about the body hair, the natural style, but, and the folds is actually very interesting. The way she shows, she gives the volume and sort of how it folds and she explains that. She shows how the shirts are folded, the dresses, how they go and what direction the lines go. Uh, the importance of the props is recognized here. Very interesting, super interesting, right? And shows how to age a woman, basically what to add. Um, this is where she talks about stylized, right? Characters of hers like this, this, and this, and the realistic. Um, all right. I I'm really bad at drawing animals. I mean, I'm I'm kind of really bad at drawing animals. And then she talks about the cats and the way they stretch and you know kind of they have the lines sort of and how they draw them. It's very very interesting how the fur works and you know especially if you're like me and you don't know how to draw animals. I would love to draw animals. There's so many beautiful animals that I would want to draw. My favorite animal is a lynx. I would love to draw that, but I, except the head, I can't draw the body. I just can't draw it at any position. She talks about stylized trees and the volume of trees and sort of how she makes them stylized and very interesting. Uh, so this is a chapter about her family life. She talks about her life as a mom artist and sort of how she shifts her responsibilities in life and about her family. This was very interesting because I followed her on Instagram and I really liked her book. You know, I have kind of um, saw the reviews of the book and I was like, I'm gonna get it. Her routine basically just to see more of her art and to know more about her. And that's basically the end of the book. I bought it off of Amazon, obviously, because that's that's where I could get access to it. So I hope you liked this review. Uh, so I hope you liked this sort of review and a flip through. Um, please do subscribe, give a like, leave a comment if you want to see a sort of series where I sketch or attempt, right, attempt to uh, draw animals, if you'd like to see that, obviously. Uh, do check out my Instagram at L-I-Z-A-M underscore double C A R T H Y. Check out my podcast. You can find it here on YouTube and playlist, digital struggles in my videos, or you could just check it out down link below in my Spotify. And thank you for your support. And please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for your support and see you in the next video.